Welcome to a new video. I'm in the Laser 845, I think it is. I've just forgotten already what it is. It is, it's 845. Um, I think it's a new layout in the 845. So they've gone to an L-shaped layout in this um, island bed at the back, uh, washroom mid, 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 midway and L-shaped kitchen. Anyway, let's get on review. Um, Again, not a lot's happened to these vans at all. They are tending to keep them and play fairly safe uh, and selling what the what caravan buyers like, especially coachman buyers. So let's get on. Right, the L-shaped seating is really good. I, I do like L-shaped seating. Um, I know it has its sort of, it comes and goes a bit in fashion. This pulls out into make into a double bed. And of course, this being coachman it just feels again very 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 nice I like all the nice shelving I like all the um, storage and the, and the finish of the the lockers are, are, is really really upmarket um, yeah very comfortable seating sat on here just before radio in here of course sat on here before good LED lighting mains lighting uh, mains plugs and uh, uh, what have it USB points Really, really nice fan. I think these are about 45,000. I'm not sure. Um, I really do like it though. It's a really nice Tora. And um, again, it's a one van for that couples would like. If I had a bit of a. Can I, I'm just going to make it a little slight criticism. And I think Coachman need to alter the profile of the vans a bit now. I think they're starting to just wear a little bit thin. And if they do, I think they need to make these a bit. The three windows here are lovely windows, but they could do with being a bit bigger because I know you've got the sunroof here, but they are quite small and you know you can't see a right lot through them. Anyway, that's just a minor criticism, that's just me. Let's get into the kitchen area. Right, I'm in the kitchen area and it's an L shaped kitchen, uh, Dometic um, dual fuel hob. Russell Hobbs um, microwave. Again, it's quite high up here. There's an internal um, extractor fan. Again, a nice big locker there. Nice big sink. Big thick. Oh, that's heavy. Especially when you looked on the arcade, it was really paper thin. Um, again, good storage. There we go, and oops. very nice and compact LED light strips, main uh, uh, sockets over there. Fridge freezer is Thetford, and all looking rather nice. There we go. Plenty of st storage there for for a couple on a long tour. And also you've got some work surface here, more plug socket, USB point, cupboard storage here, two. And again, you've got the control panel at the top and the control panel for the Aldi heating. Whew. Now, it is very spacious here. Um, again, people can work in the kitchen here and people get past nice and easy. It really is a nice van. There's extended um, work top here. So it all is really, really nice and compact and nice and just spacious. 
Right, let's go to the washroom area. Big typical coach and shower. Again, no vent in the tool in the ceiling, which again I think they could do with something. Uh, Bailey tend to do it, and I think that's a good thing what they do. Nice big unit there, so no shortage of space to shower. And let's get round here. Nice big actual toilet compartment itself. Um, obviously there's a wheel arch and the uh, radiator there, uh, nice big deep bowl sink, big mirror, again roof vent, window, so more storage up there, storage down at the bottom too. Um, Thetford cassette blue as you'd expect and yes it's very well practically designed and it's stylish too. And you also get another mirror here on the door which you can use if you're in the bedroom at the back here. Let's talk about bedrooms, let's go to it. Well it's an island bed and you get the wardrobes, a wardrobe on either side and you get this little padded thing that says laser on there. Again two side windows um, and your, your blinds obviously. A um, bit of a shelf up here, not, lost, not very deep, obviously they can't do it because of the, the wardrobe door there. Well, maybe they could have done something which actually curved out a bit, maybe here. That'd be quite stylish. Sorry. It's alright. <clears throat> right, I'll get back onto that. The young lady came to shut all the roof vents because they're all going back to the factory sound. So let's crack on with this. So yes, we've got the twin wardrobes, one either side. Again, plenty of uh, hanging space, his and hers. Now the fluid stuff in there. Uh, little cupboards at the side there and of course overhead lockers and LED spot lamps too. Um, like I say I think they could have made a bit of a feature on this shelf my opinion where I mean I do like this little chrome strip where it could have come out and then come out here a bit and had more and they would have made use of it more if you know what I mean to get me with it so had it curved out and yeah so you could get more on it Right, let's have a summary of the, of the van, this laser. Go to my favourite spot, the lounge. Well, the Laser 845 is a really nice tourer. Again, it's ideal for couples and um, it's certainly a nice van to relax, especially in the lounge area. And, um, it's very lots of storage, decent spec, of course you'd, you'd, you'd expect. But it does feel a very nice fan. I can say again on the exterior side, they like the graphics. The, somebody was commenting about they still like that grey finish, but they were Buccaneer owners, so or they have been, and they did like that grey that the Buccaneer had on. Seems to be a bit of an in thing with which was like the Bailey Phoenix has grey on, doesn't it? Um, but it all feels very tight. I mean, these are prototypes, but they still put everything feels solid and well made and well put together. Now, I don't know the price. Someone said about forty-five, forty-six thousand pounds, which we know is a ton of cash for a caravan these days. If you've got the money and you've got a spare cash, then this is probably something that you're going to start looking at. Coach and have got that good, solid reputation, and it's deservedly so. It's been deserved over the years. They've uh, you know, from the first day I first saw the original coach runs at the factory in 1986, uh, pre-launch, um, you know, you had a feeling then that they were going to be a successful company, although their first NEC show in the um, in 1987 on the official proper big major public launch, they didn't quite do as well as they thought and they were a little bit worried. But anyway, within 12 months that worry had gone and coach and was selling everything they could produce. So, the 2025 models still look nice. I say they've tweaked them, they've not done anything drastic. What would I like to see? I'd like to see GRP sides on these now. I think that's really something they should be doing. Uh, and maybe again changing this profile a bit now, too. I think the profile, I'm not saying it's dated, it still looks good, but I think what you've got to do is start, as you're a manufacturer, you start to go thinking, let's look ahead and start looking at changing this profile and uh, for the next generation of the coachman vans. Right, hope you've liked this quick review. 
uh, the 2025 laser um, and um, yeah I will see you on the next on the next video please keep watching the channel go and get practical caravan if you want to look about used buys I do used buys in there and I give you detailed accounts of what to look for on particular models uh, each month so please do uh, go and, and support that magazine and um, uh, as I say, lots of useful other information in there. Not to come from me. See you on the next one. Thanks for watching, and please keep subscribing and please keep giving us your comments. It is much appreciated. Thank you very much.